Today on Meant to Be Monday, I talk about getting into your pastor's heart and getting your pastor's heart into your kids. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Meant to Be Monday. I am your host, Paul Turner. And today I want to talk about preaching your pastor's heart. And uh, in my experience, uh, working with uh, various kinds of pastors, uh, some good, some not so good, uh, as maybe some of you have experienced. Uh, but what I have noticed is this, is that usually if I, am in, in, if I am being humble, if I am walking in some sort of humility, I have caught myself actually preaching the same messages that my pastor was preaching. Now, that wasn't necessarily intentional. It was, it was more like, I was in tune with what was going on, and sometimes I would preach a message, and he was on the same page, and maybe that was something that was just connected there. But the real question is, why do we want to do this, right? Why do we want to do this? Well, because, number one, we're, we're all youth workers, and as uh, ministers of the gospel, we are under authority, and our lead pastor is that authority. And so many times I see youth groups that are disconnected from their pastor, just completely on totally separate pages. And what I've tried to do through the years is break that down. So we want to preach our pastor's heart so that kids are not just coming to youth group, but we are preparing them to be a part of the church. And so many times at youth group, we know this, right? That youth group is the best part of a, of, of a child's. And then we say we grow up and you go to a church. We can always, some, you know, some youth pastors, you know, recommend youth group, but they can't recommend their own church. That's a struggle. I understand that. So what do we do then? How do we go about preaching our pastor's heart? Well, number one, ask him. Ask him. Say, what what kind of series do you have coming up, pastor? What uh, what what is in your heart right now? What is a, a favorite verse that you've been really meditating upon? And uh, you know, what uh, what are you preaching on this Sunday? You know, just ask him kind of what's filling his heart right now. And then say, well, maybe I can develop a series around that, right? And 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 do a week or two uh, around something that's really important to your pastor. If also, if it's the DNA of your, you know, the the DNA of your pastor, right? How he uh, preaches what, how he lives his life, right? You can detect on what's important to him according to how he lives his life. If evangelism is important, well, then he's always sharing his faith and he's doing that. And that's something we want to keep close to our kids because they're eventually going to be under his ministry. Or if it's worship and maybe your pastor really values worship, you know, any of those things you can be able to, to, uh, uh, connect in a message that way. You also want to look at the DNA of your church, right? And what, you know, what is your pastor emphasizing as a congregation and somehow doing this, but say, Paul, that's not what my kids need right now. Well, we got to play long ball, guys. We got to go the long, you know, there's immediate needs of what our kids need. And then there's the long um, discipleship journey we want to take them on so that one day if we're not there, they have, we've somehow connected our pastor and our pastor's heart with them. So that maybe they stay in the church as well, right? And the third way you can do that as far as knowing your pastor's heart is um, find out what books he's reading, right? Look at what uh, look at what's on his desk. You know, what has he been reading lately? What is uh, what what kind of uh, um, uh, uh, you know email newsletters does he subscribe to? What kind of websites does he go to? You know, for his reading, for his in depth reading or his devotional reading, and you can always find a way to connect those things and know his heart so that you're preaching on a same. Um, wavelength, if you will, uh, as far as what the DNA of the church is. Now, so how do we make this work within our youth ministries? Well, there's several things you can do. Uh, you can uh, swap pulpits. I'd love to do this in the past where my pastor and I will swap pulpits and uh, I will preach up on the service. He will preach down there. And sometimes we preach a similar message and sometimes we just preach different messages, right? Uh, where he may preach about the importance of youth to the church, and I will preach about the importance of the congregation to the youth ministry. Uh, the second thing you can do to preach your pastor's heart is uh, is do maybe maybe your pastor's not very good at talking with youth. That happens uh, sometimes, and you're like, oh my god, what's going on? He's killing me, man. Do a panel discussion. Make don't make your pastor. He may not even feel comfortable talking with the youth, but if you make him part of a panel that's about a subject in his wheelhouse, he'll feel a little bit more comfortable up doing that and will reveal your pastor's heart to the kids. So pick a subject he's good at, find two or three other people that can be with him, and then do a panel discussion on something. Let kids ask him questions about those things. Uh, the third way is this, is do a side-by-side series. In other words, you and your pastor agree that says, hey, I'm going to be preaching about 
uh, cross, and maybe you could preach about the cross, and we could preach it simultaneously, and that way, you know, our, our, our the whole congregation, the students are all on the same page, children's ministry, whoever. Uh, it could be about the, the book of James. It could be any of those things, so that our congregations have something to talk about, right? So, but those are just some simple ways that you can preach your pastor's heart, because eventually these kids aren't going to be in our youth ministry. They're going to go up to that congregation or, or whatever. But I think we lose so many kids because there's a complete disconnect in those areas and we should be able to help redirect kids with a uh, with a humble heart to say, look, these kids aren't going to be mine forever. They're actually going to go into this church and be under this pastor's leadership. So let's do the best job we can do of preaching our pastor's heart and getting our kids ready to move up and move in and move in with the congregation. So, but anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me for a little bit of time here today on Meant to Be Monday. Uh, if you have questions, I would love to have your questions. Please leave me comments down below. Uh, maybe you're doing this already with your with your church. Give me your best preaching your pastor's heart idea. I would love to hear about that. Give me some uh, comments down below about that and maybe something that's worked out for you. Um, also, if you're a brand spanking new, thanks so much for visiting for just a little while. I uh, appreciate you being a part. Uh, if you'll hit the subscribe button right here, that'll get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis. And so I appreciate you doing that because I would love for you to be a part of this community. And finally, if you're a regular you people are awesome. Thank you so much for all your questions and comments and all those things. Hit the thumbs up button because that lets me know you like the video and want more of them. And let's go one step further. I would like to reach a thousand subscribers this year. A thousand. The only way that's going to happen is if you guys share this information. You know youth pastors, networks, all these people that need videos like this. Don't be selfish. Share it with somebody, okay? There's another youth ministry that needs to hear this. So please go ahead and share that with folks, okay? All right, everybody. You guys have a great day, and I will see you guys tomorrow on the Tuesday Panic.